Hey, man. Carter, what the hell? Breakfast, right? Right? Thanks. Your card? You're not gonna say anything? Your card, please? What? No. Thanks. Uh-huh. God, this looks terrible. Cutter, just... Why? Okay, it's not so bad. I just had all of it earlier in the week, you know? And I'm tired of it. No, not that. Dude! Oh! Oh! <laughs> that! Funny story. I almost forgot about that. Okay, so it turns out... After about three weeks, I no longer have a clean pair of pants. Believe it or not, pretty comfy. I imagine this is the kind of feeling that comes with wearing a skirt. I quite enjoy it. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's not really something I can put into words. You kind of just have to live it to get it. No. Okay, that aside, you can't go out like this. Someone's gonna say something. Eh, whatever. Whatever? Yeah, man, it's college. Ain't no dress code here. Oh, no, but don't you think some form of legwear is an implied requirement? Look, nothing new and innovative receives a warm reception at first. You think everyone loved the cotton gin when it first came out? Probably. It completely changed labor patterns in the South for the better while simultaneously starting off America's Industrial Revolution. Huh. Well, what do you know? Learn something new every day. There's nothing else. Dude! What? Your point? Well, think about A Bug's Life. A Bug's Life. Yeah, good movie. So, you know, in the beginning, everyone hates Flick and his inventions, right? Because they're so convoluted. But by the end of the movie, he saves the day with his inventions, and then everyone's using them, realizing the genius innovator he really was. I really don't think a kid's movie about ants and grasshoppers has to do with what's socially acceptable here. You don't find a timeless message about standing up to bullies socially acceptable? Huh. Thought I knew you. Oh, I could get cereal. Okay, but how are you not embarrassed? I like Captain Crunch. Not the cereal, Carter. Oh. I don't know. I'm pretty comfortable with my body. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't see you walking around in your underwear. Maybe that's because I have some dignity. Maybe I don't want to look like some middle-aged man who can't find a reason to put on pants in the morning. If any luck, that'll be me in 20 years. Well, at this rate, I'm sure it will be. But in the meantime, could you at least try and act like you have something to be proud of? I do, though. What? This is a nice pair of boxers. Carter! Look, what you see as embarrassing, I see as an amusing anecdote in the future. Well, Carter, the potential for an amusing anecdote doesn't give you an excuse to walk around like this. Okay. For Christ's sake, you're walking around practically naked. It's that word practically that makes it all okay. How quaint. Carter, we're in public. People will see you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll live. You're not at all concerned with people talking about you behind your back? No, not really. How would you explain this to anyone? How would I explain it to anyone? Who do you need to explain it to? Well, gee, I don't know. Anybody who might come up to me and say, hey, what are you doing hanging out with the guy in his boxers? Oh, those don't sound like the people you should be hanging out with. Damn it, Carter, are you joking? Look, it's nothing to sweat about, bro. So for one day I showed up to the dining hall in my boxers, and for one day people saw me and thought, hey, who's the freak in the underwear? I'll live. You know, some people might think it's bold or confident, they'll call me fearless. Yeah, fearless. Says the guy who had to run down the hall to have me squish a wasp in his room. Dude, you know I fucking hate wasps. Sting little bastards. Okay, all right, to get back to the point, I really doubt people's first instinct is going to be to commend you for your bold sense of style. You can't be serious. If I say yes, can I finish eating? All right, prove it. Excuse me? You say you're so confident. Prove it. Okay, how? See that girl over there? Yeah? Go talk to her. But I'm eating. Okay, fine, I will. Thanks for that, man. That kid over there seems pretty cool. Might hang out this weekend. Oh, sure. Oh, my laundry's done. Oh, I'll see you back at the dorms.
really funny twice, bro. God damn it, Carter.